upbeat background music plays, hey there, smart shoppers. Welcome back to another episode of Buy Smart, your ultimate guide to making those tricky purchasing decisions. Today, we're diving into the world of Apple with a face-off between the classic iPhone 11 and the slightly newer iPhone 12. Which one deserves your hard-earned cash? Stay tuned to find out. On the left, we have the iPhone 11, the phone that's been around the block and still has some tricks up its sleeve. And on the right, the iPhone 12, the younger sibling who's here to steal the show. Let's get this showdown started. Let's talk about the first thing that makes us sweat more than a workout, the price. The iPhone 11 comes in at a sweet $339. Not bad, right? That's like, what, 34 trips to Starbucks? But wait, the iPhone 12 is here to drain your wallet just a bit more at $397. That's a whole $58 more. You can buy like, a whole cheese pizza with that difference. So if you're looking to save some bucks and still get an Apple, the iPhone 11 might just be your new BFF. Now, both these bad boys are unlocked and ready to mingle with any carrier of your choice. GSM, CDMA, you name it, they've got it. It's like they're the social butterflies of the phone world. AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, even the underdogs like Cricket and Metro, they're all in. But here's a twist. The iPhone 12 wants you to double check with your carrier. You know, just in case. It's like that friend who always asks, are you sure, before jumping into the pool. Moving on to battery life. The iPhone 11 guarantees a minimum battery capacity of 80%. It's like the phone version of an old, reliable car. It's been through some stuff, but it'll still get you where you need to go. The iPhone 12 doesn't make any wild promises about battery life, but hey, it's newer. So it's like that new car smell, fresh and full of potential. Reviewers note that the iPhone 11 has a dependable battery life while the iPhone 12's battery health can vary, with some users reporting lower percentages. And finally, activation. The iPhone 11 has passed a full diagnostic test and comes with all prior user personal information wiped clean. It's like getting a car with a full tank of gas and a freshly detailed interior. The iPhone 12, on the other hand, wants you to do a little DIY Insert your SIM card, connect to Wi-Fi, follow some prompts. It's like IKEA furniture. A bit of a hassle, but worth it in the end. Reviewers appreciate the iPhone 11's ready-to-go nature, while the iPhone 12's activation process is seen as a small hurdle. Overall, reviewers find the iPhone 11 to be a reliable and efficient phone with standout features like its camera system and battery life. It's praised for its value and dependability, although some users have faced occasional issues. On the other hand, the iPhone 12 is appreciated for its newer design and features, though some users have noted issues with battery health and audio quality. Both phones have their strengths and are well regarded by users. Upbeat background music plays, so there you have it, smart shoppers. The iPhone 11, the budget-friendly, reliable old-timer, and the iPhone 12, the shiny new kid on the block. Which one's your pick? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode of Buy Smart. Until next time, keep shopping smart and stay fabulous. Product links are in the description.